वेलकम टू एडी डिक्टेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एट फर्स्ट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी देन प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो रेडी स्टार्ट वी दस होल्ड दैट वेन द कॉर्पोरेशन टेक स्टेप्स फॉर रिकवरी ऑफ द अमाउंट बाई रिसोर्टिंग टू द प्रोफिशंस ऑफ सेक्शन ट्वेंटी नाइन ऑफ द एक्ट द लिमिटेशन पीरियड फॉर रिकवरी ऑफ द बैलेंस अमाउंट वुड स्टार्ट ओनली आफ्टर एडजस्टिंग द प्रोसिड्स फ्रॉम द सेल ऑफ एसेट्स ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल कॉन्सर्न एज द कॉर्पोरेशन वुड बी इन ए पोजिशन टू नो एज टू वेदर देयर इज ए शॉर्टफॉल और देयर इज एक्सेस अमाउंट रियलाइज ओनली आफ्टर द सेल ऑफ द मॉडगेज और हाइपोथिकेटेड एसेट्स This is clear from the language of subsection within bracket 1 of section 29 which makes the position clear that where any industrial concern which is under a liability to the financial corporation under an agreement makes any default in repayment of any loan or advance or any installments thereof or in meeting its obligations in relation to any guarantee given by the corporation or otherwise fails to comply with the terms of its agreement with the financial corporation the financial corporation shall have the right to take over the management or possession or both of the industrial concern as well as the right to transfer by way of lease or sale and realize the property pledged mortgage hypothecated or assigned to the financial corporation even otherwise it must be mentioned that the division bench was in error in stating that the right to personally recover the balance terminates after the expiry of 3 years it must be remembered that the question of recovery of balance will only arise after the remedy in respect of the mortgage deed has first been exhausted it a mortgage suit was to be filed the period of limitation would be 12 years in such a suit a prayer can also be made for a personal decree on the sale proceeds being insufficient it is thus clear that merely because the corporation acted under section 29 of the state financial corporation act did not mean that the contract of indemnity came to an end section 29 merely enabled the corporation to take possession and sell the assets for recovery of the dues under the main contract it may be that only the corporation taking action under section 29 and on their taking possession they became deemed owners the right to claim for the balance arose under the contract of indemnity only when the sale proceeds were found to be insufficient the right to use on the contract of indemnity arose after the assets were sold the present case would fall under article 55 of the limitation act 1963 which corresponds to old article 115 and 116 of the old limitation act 1908 the right to sue on a contract of indemnity or guarantee would arise when the contract is broken therefore the period of limitation is to be counted from the date when the assets of the company were sold and not when the recall notice was given 
द अपशॉट ऑफ द एफोर्ट्स एड डिस्कशन इज टू होल्ड दैट द प्रेजेंट अपील इज बेरेप्ट ऑफ एनी मेरिट्स अपहोल्डिंग द जजमेंट ऑफ द हाईकोर्ट वी डिसमिस द इंस्टेंट अपील स्टॉप